All right, this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with a Sagittarius placement. Keep in mind, energy can be reversed, so flip-flop it according to your situation. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just got done sneezing. Um, so Pisces dealing with Sag. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. It's going to be for the next week or so. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces dealing with Sag. One card for Sag. So Pisces, you got the past is, <laughs> oh my gosh, I've done like every reading I do it just kind of blows my mind. But Pisces, the past is behind you. <clears throat> the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you now. Follow it with faith. Okay, so that's your card, Pisces. Can I get one for Sag? <clears throat> I know like the Piscean Collective is in that energy of letting go of past situations, people, places, and things, energy, memories, whatever. Y'all are putting that shit in, in the past. All right, Sagittarius Scott, give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. <clears throat> know that you deserve to be and to have all that your heart truly desires. All right, Sag. So give thank give thanks for all the blessings of love soon to come your way. Um you deserve to have what your heart truly desires. So let's get four cards from the Andrew Me Disguise, then we'll get four. This is subscriber requested. Um I will do the rest of the signs throughout the week and have those up before Friday. <clears throat> so check your other placements. This could resonate with you if you're a Pisces sun dealing with the Sagittarius moon. Okay, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node placement. So if you're a Pisces north node dealing with the Sag sun, this reading may resonate with you. <clears throat> or check your other placements if this reading does not resonate with you. So let's get four cards. I need time. I'm jealous and possessive. Damn, and I feel like I'm not good enough for you. I was pretending to be someone else in fights and arguments, conflict on the bottom of the deck. So someone here may have been pretending to be someone that they weren't. Okay, someone may feel like they're not good enough for you. So someone may have been, may have been portraying that they were one way when really they're not. Or I'm not saying that. Okay. Someone here needs more time. Someone here could also be jealous and possessive um, in this situation. <clears throat> Let's see. Skip four cards from the Hidden Truth. Keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you, depending on the connection you share with this person. All right. Pisces, still in the Thank you for your guys' requests. I do read your guys' comments, even if I don't, you know, always be able to get back. I try to respond, but by the time I, you know, look at them, sometimes comments just get buried by new comments and I do read them now. Um, but someone I did see in my comments requested this read. So here we are. <clears throat> I knew exactly what I was doing. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So I'm just going to put this in one pretense guys to make it easier for me. You guys flip the rules according to your situation. So Pisces, you may have known that you were a distraction from someone else's pain that person may have known exactly what they were doing. Okay, I'm getting rebound type of energy. Doesn't mean that you were, doesn't mean that that's what this is, but you may have known that someone here wasn't completely healed. And this person may have knew exactly what they were doing. They were pretending to be what you needed them to be um, <clears throat> out of possible insecurities. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Okay, this could be someone who's possessive over you. If someone's jealous and possessive, they're not healed. Okay. Um, I look for you everywhere so that either this person looks for you everywhere or you look for this person everywhere. Um, I wish I could take back my words. <clears throat> I wish I had treated you better. And we both know I'm not the one for you showing itself. I'm not taking those because I don't take doubles. Um, but someone here may have said some things. Uh, they may wish that they, you know, hadn't had said with this. I wish I had treated you better and I wish I could take back my words. All right, so the first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. I'll read you on this side, Saggy on this side. However, again, the rules can be reversed. For all of you guys, this will resonate differently. Or it may not even resonate at all. So let's see. 
Pisces, overall energy, please. First card is for Pisces, overall energy. Okay. Pisces, overall energy. Seven of Pentacles. Show me Sagi's overall energy, please. What is Sagittarius's overall energy? The one's dealing with a Pisces. Mm. Yep. All right. So you got two sevens here. Um, Pisces, you're showing up as a seven of Pentacles. So planting seeds, seeds well planted, efforts or investments, that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time of resting, planning for the future, and unnecessary worry. So some type of seeds that you've planted here or something that you've been nurturing is going to grow, okay? There is a need for patience, okay? <clears throat> I don't know what is up with my throat right now. I was fine until I, like, did, like, the giant sneeze right before I, like, clicked on and said my prayer. <sighs> Maybe purging out the energy from the previous read. Because I was like, Habu! I was like, whoa, that was amazing. <laughs> and then I clicked on your video. Anyway, Sagittarius is showing up as the Seven of Swords. Okay, so a loss of peace of mind, personal freedom. Take caution and beware of others' actions. A material loss, make sure you're being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. So I don't know if this Sagittarius... <clears throat> you know, may have done something that they're embarrassed about. I don't know if they lied, they cheated, they stole. Someone here may have said some shit that wasn't true. Someone could have lied on you, lied about you, lied to you, okay? Treated you in a way that was not, uh, you know, great. Show me Pisces emotions, please. The ones dealing with a Sag. Y'all be sure to hit the like button too if this reading gives you... Uh, clarity or helps you in any way let me know let's see pisces <clears throat> pisces emotions thank you Ooh, yeah five of pentacles show me saggy's emotions mm. this person could be emotionally immature emotionally off balance or this person may even have a hard time trusting other people this person could be thinking about you. This person may have lied to you, lied on you. Um, but with this Queen of Cups in Sagittarius's emotions, sorry, I'm reading this backwards, but I got a lot of messages there for a moment and I had to get them out. I hit it into the reverse. However, I feel it would have fell in the upright. However, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So I kind of give you an overview of the reversed energy there. But I'm going to turn it in the upright in this reading. Um, so... Sagittarius and their emotions, they may have a lot of love for you, okay? Queen of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They may have a water placement, maybe in their moon sign. Um, however, this person is looking at you, looking this way, loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, and follow your heart. So this person may be, this person could have lied about their emotions or lied about how they felt about you. Pisces, in your emotions, you have the five of pentacles. So you are feeling abandoned, left out in the cold by this person. Uh, negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance and poor timing for becoming self-employed. So Pisces, you may be feeling like something's lacking in your life. You could be feel, having some type of negative thoughts. And with this seven of pentacles, there is a need for patience. Whatever you've been investing into or spending your time nurturing, you may have, you may feel like you're not getting, you know, and it, whether this is financial, emotional, material, whatever it is, you may feel like you're not receiving as much, like you're putting more effort into a situation than what you're getting back. Okay. Um, you may have felt like you nurtured something just to be left out in the cold. You nurtured something just to like be in this five of pentacles energy. Um, some of you guys may have even felt like you invested into something that was just straight bad for your health. Okay. But the seven of swords to this queen of cups, someone may have lied about how they felt about you, lied about their emotions. Um, 
And I do feel like this person does have a lot of emotion for you. It could be also stemming from emotional insecurities, okay? Yeah, I feel like I'm not good enough for you, Queen of Cups in the reverse. That could be like some type of insecurities or lack of trust. This person may have even been lied to, okay, with the Seven of Swords. Like maybe somebody lied to them and so they lied to you or they hide their emotions due to insecurities because maybe they poured their heart out to someone and they got lied to or they got betrayed. So now this person doesn't, like they do that. That's crazy. It's like hurt people hurt people in that sense. But... This is someone who I feel like they, um, this person could even be embarrassed about somebody, a feminine energy in their life who treated them poorly or didn't show them affection or love. Now, whether that was a mother, Queen of Cups can be a mother, a sibling, it could be um, a maternal figure, someone's wife or baby mama or something. Someone may have done something that caused them to, you know, and with this, I knew exactly what I was doing. Seven of Swords in the Upright, that's somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. They're planning and they're strategizing. And, you know, or, you know, the deception is stemming from a place of conscience, right? Or, um, and again, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Maybe this person feels like they're not good enough for you. So they could have emotionally manipulated you. Queen of Cups in the reversed because they don't trust themselves or they don't trust you know, a maternal figure that they had in their life and they're embarrassed about this. I'm getting a lot of messages, y'all. Show me Pisces next move, please. Show me Pisces next move. So transformation, had to make sure that was one card. Show me Sagittarius' next move. So Pisces, you're going through some type of major life change, okay, with this transformation card. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Uh, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. So your next move, Pisces, you're going through a spiritual transformation or some type of significant change in your energy. You could be breaking free. Um... Yeah, I feel like you may have given to a situation or invested into a situation that left you feeling emotionally depleted or left you with like a bad taste in your mouth, okay? With well, some type of negative thoughts. Uh, your person, I'm going to get one more for their next move, but they got the Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles can talk about teaming up, working together, doing what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others and an excellent reputation. So this person may be um, working on some type of creative endeavors or investments or something that's going to build some type of long-term financial stability. Okay, I'm going to move on. Show me Pisces intentions because the two cards that just fell out kind of clarified this. So I know I'm, that card was meant to be. It was meant to be. Show me Pisces intentions. Whoa. Show me Saggy's intentions. Pisces intentions. Yeah, ego. So the illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation. Then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions and un or unhealthy habits. So Pisces, your intentions, intentions here is to break free of anything that restricts you, that binds you. Um, accepting responsibility. Choosing to make those big life changes. Okay, that support your path to ha happiness. This could have to do with anything to addictions or just a mindset. And whatever this is, you're freeing this and you're choosing to change and transform your life. Okay, because I feel like you invested into something that made you feel depleted or you were, you know, investing into someone and they may have left you out in the cold. This person may have lied to you. They may have cheated on you. I do feel like this person does have a lot of deep emotions for you. Um, I don't know if this person's wanting to work together with you or this is someone who's just working on their own financial endeavors, creating some type of security and long lasting wealth for themselves. Hey, okay, show me Sagittarius's intentions, please. <clears throat> show me Saggy's intentions.
So the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What's their intentions? Hmm. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, let me state the obvious, could talk about job loss, lack of effort, lack of determination, lack of uh, lack of learning some type of a new skill set or putting in work that could sharpen or increase a skill set, okay, such as like going back to school. I'll read it in the, and it doesn't have to be going back to school, but I'll read it in the upright to give you an idea. Learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So this person's intentions, maybe this person doesn't want to work with anybody else. Maybe this person wants to work by themselves or be their own boss. Because with this eight of pentacles in the reverse, I see this is two people. And it talks about like finding a mentor, learning a new skill or a hobby or being trained or something to that nature but in this three pentacles unlike the typical tarot this woman is you know working by herself man or woman this is someone who it you know is very skilled at something but doesn't want to learn a new skill what hmm that's interesting i've never gotten that in a reading that's what it says though Whoever you're dealing with or whoever this reading is going to resonate with, you will know because I feel like this person kind of sticks to one road, you know, like there's only one way or something like this is someone who and it may be stemming from. I hate to even go this way, but this is what I'm getting. This may be stemming from like a maternal figure in this person's life. And they're embarrassed to like speak some type of secrets or speak some type of truth about something. This is something that somebody hides, but it's showing up in their like adult and career life. This is someone who is very skilled, but I feel like this person like doesn't want to be mentored, doesn't want to be like learned or like. This is someone who just like wants to do the one thing that they're good at and that's it. Nobody can tell me nothing. But it's stemming from like a place where they don't where they feel inadequate and maybe by a maternal figure who was unemotional or did some type of emotional manipulation, emotional abuse, someone who they couldn't trust or someone who didn't make them feel nurtured. Is that making sense? That's what the cards say. Show me the outcome. Between Pisces and Sag. Interesting. I don't know what this has to do with love, y'all, but um What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> That's what just popped into my head. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome. Page of Pentacles, beautiful. So the page of, oh my gosh, my bra is like pinching the shit out of me. Show me the outcome. Pisces don't massage. So maybe you're friends with this person or maybe you just wanna stay friends with this person. Page of Pentacles, maybe there's a message being received. You know, this Page of Pentacles in this deck, this is also someone who's uh, scholarly. Cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about career promotions or scholarships and a new area of study. So here in the outcome, there is a new opportunity. So what the hell? Okay. Show me the outcome. Knight of Wands. So uh, someone here may find an opportunity. Somebody could even... Okay, let me not go there. There, this is like somebody may find an opportunity that they're very passionate about if they just look or if they like are open to it. Someone may find something that they're very passionate about or that they're talented 
you know, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events that require immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused, and a passionate relationship. Maybe something here, maybe this is someone here, friends with benefits. Shit, that can also be the situation. If this is a love situation, keep in mind it's not for everybody. Tell me more about the um, outcome here. Whatever made you feel depleted, Pisces, something here is going to grow. Like something that you invested into or something that you were waiting on, I feel like is going to grow. But right now you may feel like you're not receiving what it is that you want. Something here is changing in your life. You, there's some type of a major change where you're letting go of things that are no longer serving you. And that's what you have up here too is your oracle. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace it. New possibilities and a new path is available to you now. Follow it with faith. Okay. And there's a new opportunity here that maybe you're going to be very excited about or you're going to feel very passionate about. Many fucking opportunities, actually. Seven of Cups. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options or addictions. So if there's any type of addictions that you're trying to break free from, um... Like this may be, if this is, and again, this isn't going to resonate with all of you guys, but Pisces is showing up in your energy possibly. Okay. A devil Scorpio energy is here too. So I don't know, this may resonate with the Pisces who has Scorpio in their chart um, and a significant placement. But if you're trying to break free from any addictions, this may be something that you still are currently battling or struggling with. But I do see that change at hand taking place. interesting your intentions is to break free of this it's like you know you need to break free of this that's your intentions what's going on currently is your life is transforming you're going through a transformation so maybe there was a situation that is not coming into fruition with the seven of pentacles if this is your finances or your home or something or your health if something's not quite coming into fruition something here is taking longer than expected it's because you need to like I'm not going to tell you what to do, but because I see that this is going to change regardless. It's a major arcana. Transformation is a major arcana. Whatever this is, this could be like the universe stepping in to create this change. And they may be hitting you in your finances. Like if you don't have the finances or the funds to do something that you've been investing into, then that's going to create that change. It's going to help you. It's going to help you achieve your goals. And your goal looks like, you know, breaking free of whatever this is. So the Seven of Cups, you may be, I don't know, under the influence or creating some type of delusion, self-illusion here. You have the Dreamer card as your next card, a new start. Trust yourself, push your fears aside, and take that leap of faith. So I do see you going towards your dreams, your aspirations. And again, there's a guide here in the background that's guiding the situation, guiding you to walk through that door. Trust yourself, push your fears aside, and just do it. Just do it, Pisces. Ain't none to it, but do it. All right, so let's just get one more. I didn't like the way that came out, but we'll see. So where did it go? Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Empress. Yeah, something, some type of growth here is just taking its sweet ass time. All right, straight up. Like you are growing into something that is, you know, very abundant, fertile, whatever, or something here is going to grow, but it's just taking time with the Knight of Pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing. A guardian angel again, or someone who watches over you. So there is someone here who's guiding the situation. Um, This is like your angels are planning some type of growth and abundance in your life. Fertility. And you're in the middle of this change. So emotionally, you may be feeling like depleted or just feeling like things are changing. Um, some of you guys are changing your health regimen, breaking free of anything that isn't good for you. Drinking, smoking, caffeine, um, 
not, you know, uh, you know, maybe starting to drink more water or take care of your health. Five of Pentacles could talk about your health. Okay, so maybe with the Seven of Pentacles, you're in the process of like planting good seeds, like, you know, but it's just going to take some time. So if you're wanting like some type of change to happen overnight, there's something here that's kind of like taking time. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take planning. It's going to take action. Again, it's going to take action. And you may be feeling confused or like, I don't know if this is going to work. It is. The dreamer card is here. Whatever it is that you're dreaming, you're creating. It's just taking time. Now for Saggy. Whoever this is, I feel like they do have love for you. But this person may be in the process of like, I don't know if this person is lying about their own emotions. They're lying about, I don't know what the fuck they're lying about, but there's some type of self-deception here. Yeah, two of pentacles. They could even be lying about a baby mom or a girl or, oh Lord. Okay. Show, show me what the seven of swords is. The Nine of Swords showing itself. So someone here is worried about whatever this is. The Three of Cups. That, yeah, okay. So it can be a third party or a child or a decision surrounding a child or a pregnancy or a message, an honest message. Someone's worried about something. Someone's worried about something. Some type of truth surrounding a child or a pregnancy with a third party. Someone's worried about this baby mama. Someone lied about this person. Someone here may also say that they want to work together and collaborate and come together as a team, but they really don't have no fucking intentions on putting in the work. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but literally that's what it says. Whoever this person is, and keep in mind, Sagittarius, if you're watching this, don't shoot the messenger. This doesn't have to be a reading. If you want a personal reading, or you want me to do a Sagittarius reading, I'll do one. Actually, I might do one today. Uh, just a plain out Sagittarius reading. I like Sagittarius. Is actually, I'm a Sag moon, um, and have a lot of Sag family. But So I'm not trying to pick out the bad guy in this reading. Hell, this could even be Pisces. I don't know. But, uh, that's what's coming out. Let's see. Yeah, and the Seven of Swords. I just, like, picked it up. Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Five of Cups. Someone's... Oh, that's not the Five of Cups. That's the Hermit, Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Someone here could have lied about a Virgo, especially a Virgo. Someone could have lied about someone who was older. Or... I don't know what the, what the, what the, all right, show me this page of pentacles down here now. For Pisces down with Sag, the strength card. Your perseverance is going to bring in lots of options here. Lots of new opportunities, okay? Keep persevering. Keep holding black, holding, <laughs> keep holding back from people, places, and things that don't serve you, okay? Like this, and I see that that's your intentions. Hold back from this self-delusion, this, this, this alcohol, drugs, whatever this is that someone's overindulging in possibly, hold back from that. Or whatever causes you chaos and confusion, hold back. Refrain, okay? Find that courage, that inner strength to do this, and there will be new opportunities. Show me the... Ooh. Knight of Wands is three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is... no, no Okay. Stop waiting to take action. Stop waiting to make these changes. Do it now. Stop waiting. Do it now. Okay? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's the truth. Four of Pentacles that you need to hold back or conserve your time, energy, resources. This is something that you need to hold back from, and you know this. You know it. You, you've gotten the clarity. You know, you see the truth. 
If you want this success, this breakthrough, you need to hold back from things that drain your energy. Okay? Show me this dreamer. What was that? The Knight of Pentacles. Again, and the Emperor. Yeah, planning towards becoming your own boss, towards this structure, this discipline. Stay structured. Stay disciplined. Take charge of a situation. Push your fears aside and go towards that new start. Okay? The Emperor, he ain't scared. He ain't scared. No, I'm just saying. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, take action towards your dreams. Towards some type of creative endeavor. Whatever you feel inspired to do. Your own creations. Plan that shit out. Map that shit out. Plan it out. And do the damn thing. Queen of Wands. Show me the Empress. And you will succeed. <laughs> I love it. You will succeed. That was your first card in your spread. The Seven of Pentacles. That's your overall energy. Okay. Take action and do that. You will succeed. You will see the fruits of your labors. You will grow. Okay. There will be immense growth in this situation. I don't even know if this is a love read, guys. So um, I don't know how you know this person. Maybe this is someone who... I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, maybe this is someone from your past. A sibling. Someone you've known for a long time. Someone you share children with. This person may be lying about how they feel. You know... If I was to read that Queen of Cups in the reverse too, this could be someone who is lying. Just And I hate to like pick up the bad guy, but I can't ignore the obvious in this reading either. So if someone gets mad, I'm fucking well. But whoever I'm reading for, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups reverse, Three of Pentacles upright, and the Eight of Pentacles reverse, this person's intentions, they're not going to put in the fucking work. They're not going to do, they don't want to do the work. Okay? They may tell you, I want to work with you, I want to collaborate. Uh, but the Queen of Cups in the reverse, they're emotionally manipulating you. Or they're trying to. Seven of Swords, they're trying to be sneaky. They're trying to get away with something. They're trying to one-up you. So, whatever. Can I get three cards, please? The Chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Uh, fear of abandonment and issues. So, I don't know if this is someone who abandoned you. I'm also getting that card, I abandon people to make myself feel better. This person may have tried to make you feel abandoned because they feel abandoned by some, by a maternal figure or whatever I was touching on earlier. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along and one night stand. And then we have talking. Yeah, someone here may have a lot of options. Okay, and you may know this. It's time for you to stop procrastinating, make choices. Stop waiting and take action. Okay. Hold back from things that drain your energy or cause confusion in your life. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. Okay? In abundance. Woo -woo. Okay? So you may have a conversation with someone here who, you know, this could be some type of a new phase or a new cycle that you're getting into that's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. But it's, it's time to stop giving to energies that deplete you or make you feel this five of pentacles. Okay? So I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, if it helped, let me know. If it gave you clarity, let me know. We got 3333 three, three, three on the clock. That's so dope. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.